okay, let's talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing today. I, I watched Nate Bright this weekend do a one of his herringbone uh, paintings, and he spun it out. It kind of intrigued me. So I'm going to be do, working on a round, uh, but I'm going to try it from a little bit of a different angle. Just keep in mind that I I got to keep it centered so that I can have it spin out correctly. Um, my colors are here, and I'll leave a. I'll, I'll leave a list down in the uh, down in the description as far as what they all are, but let's get right to it.
Okay, let's talk about this for just a second. Uh, the symmetry of this could probably be improved upon. Uh, I think if I put a, a better grid down, I'd be able to take care of that more. Uh, the contrast between the fire and the ice is there. I was hoping I was going to get a little bit more mixing in the rucking part. Um, as you notice, none of my cell, none of my cell activator actually created cells. I'm okay with it, but I would like to have seen it. it would have been nice to have that that contrast in here also. Um, overall, it's a nice experiment. I think uh, it stands more investigation. I'd like to see a mo less uh, negative space and more pattern. So we're going to try this again uh, and I'll hopefully find some, a way to do this that I like better. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not hating this for fact. So let me get you down for the slow and easy flyover. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. It really does help, and it's absolutely free. Thanks for being here today, and I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.